This smells so good. Do you ever taste test the batter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Michael Sauer, Chief Legal Officer. And I'm Jill Wilson, VP of Media Development and PR. And we work at Scorpion, where we empower businesses. We are back on the road, getting to work with some of the most successful companies in the country. Living a day in their lives. Learning what drives them. And having a little fun along the way. And this is Get to Work! We just landed here in sunny Las Vegas. We're here to see Dina Tripp, co-founder of Nothing Bunt Cakes. Nothing Bunt Cakes was started in 1997 here in my hometown, Las Vegas. And it was started with my really good friend, Debbie Schwetz. And as we were starting our brand, we wanted to make sure that we did something very different. So we weren't interested in making a round cake or a sheet cake. And that's where we landed on a Bunt Cake because it is different. Bone, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm not the best baker. <laughs> I always try to do substitutes like, like what? Like no sugar or mash some banana instead of butter. Jill, you can't do that. You it's can't. never gonna be the same. You can't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> we can't wait to get started and show them how to make a nothing bun cake. Hey, hey Dina, Dina, we're ready to start baking. Fantastic. Great. Welcome to Nothing Bunt Cake. This is beautiful. Thank you very much. It's, it's very beautiful. inviting. Yes. And then immediately, I want cake. <laughs> <laughs> because Me we too. are going to get you guys busy and we want you to help us make some cake. Awesome. I have you working with Jessica. She is our director of innovation oh, for the whole system. Wow. And so she helps with uh, creating new flavors. And you'll be working with my son, Sean, and he is our operating partner. Oh, oh, great. Yeah, Yay. so we're really excited for that. Uh, yeah. We have uniforms for you guys. Perfect. Okay. So Jill, we have this one oh, for so you. Oh, so cute. I oh. love it. Thank you. You know, they're all little name tags. Uh -huh. And both? So oh, perfect. Go. So Sean and Jessica are waiting for you in the back. Okay. okay. So if you guys are ready, Head on Let's back go. and get to work. All, All right, right, we are off. I'm ready. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, I'm Jessica. And I'm Sean. Welcome to the kitchen of Nothing Bun Cakes. This place is huge. Their kitchen is massive. There's giant ovens you could almost walk into, and the mixers are the biggest mixers I've ever seen in my life. Today, we're gonna to be baking our original flavor chocolate chocolate chip, and it's still the most popular to this day. So if you guys are ready, we can get started. When I started working at Nothing Bunk Cakes at 16, there was only two locations, and now we're over 300 locations, and I still just love working here every day. So um, this is everything we need to make this chocolate chocolate, chocolate chip. chocolate cake. chocolate chip, this is it. So we started mixing, we started with the wet ingredients. Put the water in, both pitchers. Okay. I've never worked with a bowl this big in my life. Oh, this is heavy. I'm gonna assist you. How about oh, let me good. turn this towards you? Okay. So make sure you scrape it all out. Okay. Get every last drop. Get in and then there. our last ingredient bone is gonna be our dry mix here. So if you'll grab that bag and Sorry dump it right in. This is the secret proprietary. Yes. Oh my goodness. And away we go. Joe, you wanna wheel it onto the sure. mixer here? All right, cake. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna grab the paddle? The paddle oh, on the guy. table? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, and so you're gonna line the top of the paddle up with the mixer here. Got it. Close the cage. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Let's start mixing. Just the bowl mixing. I was ready to kind of dive in, but thankfully they had this sort of guard on there, I guess, to protect <laughs> people from sticking you. their hands in. <laughs> that guard was meant for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this batch right here, how many cakes are gonna come from this? Um, we're gonna get about 28 of our largest size cake, which is the 10 inch. Got oh, it. Okay. All right, Jill, why don't you go ahead and hit the stop button? All right. We're gonna lower it down and add our eggs. Press it against the sides of that container. There you go. It's like an art form, yes. this spatula. 
Yeah, and we want to do this quickly because we're, we're making multiple <laughs> batches throughout right. the day. So the faster <laughs> we get this done, the more cakes that we can produce. All right, I like it. For those of you that are watching, that means hurry up. <laughs> and then we added the chocolate chips last and it was just... At the very up. end. We put it in last because the length of the mixing time, we don't mm. want to destroy that product. I'll crush them yeah. down. Oh, we'll that break makes up. Sense. That makes sense. All right, that's good. Jill, go ahead and okay. hit stop. Okay. We're going to start scaling our cakes. Okay. First, we need to start with uh, putting some pan spray on our pans. There's okay. a little bit of a technique to this, so we do want to get the most of the coverage on the bottom of the pan here. Two times around. So two times around the bottom. A little slower. Oh. Then you're going to spray the whole center post, and then just a little bit more up the sides. I said a little. Dang it! <laughs> There's an exact way to do everything here, a way to spray the pans, a way to measure the cake. Everything has like an exact measure. So we're gonna start by putting the pan on the scale here, okay. and then we're gonna tear it, zeroing out the weight of the pan. Got it. We're gonna okay. scale to a, a batter weight, okay. and then using our pitcher, we're gonna just dip it right into the bowl. And then I always say you're gonna use your hand like a spatula, mm. and stick oh, it like into the pitcher, and we're scaling this cake to three pounds, one ounces. I'm getting close, I'm getting close. 2.8, 2.9. 0.25 okay, away. Use just a tiny bit of batter. One chocolate chip. Done! Done. Yes! <laughs> I want to make a perfect Bundt cake perfect. Here we go! Yes. 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 Good job, Jill! It's only 25 more to go, Jill. 26. All right. 27. 27. And we had enough batter for a 28. <laughs> There we go. All right, so now we're all, all loaded right. up, so what's next? Uh, we're gonna set our temperature, set our time, push it in and hit start, and then just wait. To the oven. They oh, ready? they smell amazing. Wow, okay. These look, these, these look absolutely amazing. Woo, All right, yeah. so, so what are the next steps? Okay, so we're gonna actually let the cakes cool for a little bit, and then we'll be able to move on to the next step. All Easy. Right. Okay, so now that the cakes have cooled, we're ready to start frosting. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna pick the part. pastry bag up. We're gonna hold it at about a 45 degree angle. You wanna be pretty close to the cake. Give it a nice squeeze. Got it. Okay. So we do how many of these? There's gonna be 28 petals per cake. I think I understand, but maybe I get to see like one more test run okay. just in case. <laughs> Last one. <Sure>. Must be. <laughs> During this entire process, I wasn't nervous about anything until we got to the frosting portion. So Bone only has to do 26 petals now. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Bone. Squeeze with just your top hand. Oh, oh. And there's a technique for your front hand, your back hand, the way you're moving, like even your stance and the table height, like all have to do with how you frost the cake. So it all became a lot to handle. Just don't look at the first two thirds of what I've done, <laughs> but now yeah. I think we're starting I'm to like, finally get there. I'm getting a little bit of the hang of it. There's a reason that you go through three and a half weeks of training to make the perfect cake. And for one day, we actually did pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna actually spin out the center and finish up the cakes. Spin. And using our metal spatula, we're gonna just gently rest it on the frosting in the center and give it a couple spins to make it nice and smooth in the well. Okay. Passing grade. And now on to the part that makes the cake so beautiful and the perfect gift, uh, the decorating. I was tasked with making the prettiest princess cake. My cake was the flower bouquet cake. And the coolest thing about it is everything that they make is handmade. And there they are! Wow, cake looks great! It. They look amazing. Awesome. On the design. Yeah! Good job. Um, it looks fantastic. Oh, thank you. Great job. Thank that you was a lot more challenging than I thought. <laughs> Good job, Jill. Good job, Bob. All right, thank you, Jessica. <laughs> you guys did such a great job today baking, frosting, and decorating that we made you your own get to work cake. Oh no way! It's the cutest thing. <laughs> and look, we're on it. Oh my gosh. Thank, thank you, guys. guys. Well, no, great thank job you. today. Thank you for coming. Thank you. You're the best. Oh, yeah. I gotta, I gotta get a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get one of these. I need hugs. Thank, I need hugs. You. thank you so thank much. You. We wanted to make something special for you. So, thank you. And if you guys wanted to get cleaned up and get changed, Dina's gonna meet you out front. All right. Thanks, let's head on out. Hi. Hi. <laughs>
Hi. Hey. How are you? Good. We did it. I heard yeah. Sean and Jessica told me you guys were awesome. Oh, so you followed the recipes, which I is did. excellent. That's I followed excellent. the formula. New respect for the formula. <laughs> right, right. It's amazing the results that you get when you actually follow the formula. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And you know baking is a science, so there's that very is. little uh, margin for error, for sure. Now, what inspired you to actually start Nothing Bun Cakes? That's a very good question. So uh, my friend, Debbie and I, we really always wanted to do a business together. And so her husband was having his 40th birthday. And ironically enough, Las Vegas just did not have any really nice bakeries back then. And so I had a chocolate chip bun cake. It's the same bun cake that we still make today. Wow. And she had the most amazing frosting and it was a buttercream cheese frosting. Mm. And I said, we've got the cake, but I think you've <laughs> it's a match got, made in heaven. You got the frosting. <laughs> Can't have and one without the other. That's right. Yeah. And so it started getting us thinking and talking. And um, that's really the, the very, very beginning. There was an opportunity. We recognized that opportunity. And then we just started discussing it. What happened next? We were working out of our home, mm -hmm. our homes, and it was difficult. We really knew that we had to consider um, going into a brick and mortar mm -hmm. in order to have future success. And we had set some goals, we had written a business plan, and we realized if we could make and sell 10 of these cakes a day, then it gave us the opportunity to, to consider going into a brick and mortar. Very nice. Yeah. And when I think about 10 cakes a day. Now? It's, yes, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty comical. It's laughable. It's laughable. Yes, and how many is. cakes a day would you estimate you're doing now? Oh, man. Um, and we have so many different sizes and varieties. Correct. But, oh, uh, true. It's fair amount of cakes. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly more than 10. Could we right. fill this room with the quantity of cakes? Probably uh, per day. Yeah. During the holidays. Yeah. I mean, we have cakes from the front door to the back door. I mean, there are just cakes everywhere. We really are a gift-giving product. It just happens mm. to be cake. Now, where did the name Nothing Bunt Cakes come from? We wanted a name that sounded very fun, and but we needed to tie cakes with it as well. And so originally, we were going to call the business Celebration Cakes. And that seemed not very descriptive of really what we do. Right. And so one day, my husband came home from work, and he said, I have the perfect name. I have the perfect <laughs> name for this business. And I said, okay, yeah. what do you yeah, have? What do me. you have? Yeah. And he said, nothing but cakes. And, and you said? I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like, awful. No. Yeah. And the reason why I didn't think it sounded great is because the word nothing. Mm. Uh, just the connotation of starting with something a negative. negative word, yeah. right? Exactly, exactly. But it's so perfect. It is so perfect. You remember and it's, it. It's very punish. Mm -hmm. it's, it's genius. It's so descriptive, and it really, really says what we do. And so we agreed. So when along your journey did you decide that you wanted to grow it into a franchise? That's another really great question yeah. <laughs> because in the very beginning, we knew that we wanted to be a household name in Las Vegas. But beyond that, we didn't really aspire to go elsewhere. But we had several of our customers, our guests come in and say, is this a franchise? I want to invest, what and can I do? And we said, no, it's not a franchise. We're never going to be a franchise. They wanted that recipe. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And we said, we're trying to execute just having a couple of bakeries. But at the same time, when you say never, you never should say never, right? right. So we asked those guests to provide us with their name and telephone number. And we Smart. said- Smart. So we had a little bowl and we said, if in the future we ever decide to contemplate franchising and grow as a franchise concept, you'll be the, you'll first. Be the first to call. Smart. Exactly. And we did, we did call every person on that list and we actually have bakery owners today that were in that bowl. And what was the biggest challenge that you experienced sort of transitioning to a franchise? So transitioning from running bakeries to being a franchise business, they are completely two different things. So we ultimately really started a new business. Mm -hmm. Then in addition to that, we wanted to make sure that the products we provided to our bakery owners were going to be proprietary. Got it. So we started two new businesses at that time simultaneously to also running our bakeries. Mm. So we started the franchise business and we started a distribution center. Got it. So our bakery owners purchase our secret ingredients from us, anything proprietary. It makes sense. 
because every single product from every single Nothing Bundt Cakes should be as consistent as possible. The things that we really focus on, particularly at the franchise level, is the quality of the product mm -hmm. is the best it can be, and it's consistent from coast to coast. And then we also want to make sure our service is top notch. From the get-go, when Debbie and I were just thinking about it, we knew as a consumer, those were the two most important things for us. And so we knew in franchising, it was gonna be very important to, to be able to focus on that consistency. So you went from a, the bun cake business to a franchise formula we business. We did, so we had to learn how to really be salespeople. Mm. We had to be, it was, it was very easy to talk about nothing bun cakes because we were so passionate about it. Mm. But what we didn't understand is that we needed to train. There were so many things associated, not just with telling Putting them how to- Putting something in the oven. Right, yeah. not just showing them how to bake a bun cake and training them all the details associated with the concept, mm -hmm. but also helping them get to the finish line from signing the franchise agreement yeah. all the way to opening their doors. And that's what we had no clue about. And our very first location that opened as our franchise was in San Diego, mm -hmm. and that was 2005. Dina, how many locations does Nothing Bun Cakes currently have? We currently have just over 300. We are in wow. 38 states. That's unbelievable. Coast to coast. And we have one international, so we have one location in Canada. Great. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I think that our That's runway amazing. in the United States, uh, we expect to maybe be at about 500 locations in the U.S. That is phenomenal wow. growth. Thank you. Incredible. So you are currently co-founder and chairman of the board. Correct. So you are the visionary in terms of the, the direction that Nothing Bunt Cakes is going to be going. Debbie has retired, so I consider myself the brand steward. And the brand is so close to my heart. I'm very, very active in the business. Mm -hmm. People describe me, they're like, man, you're really passionate. <laughs> you, you really still love what you do. And you I said, are. yes, I do. I really love what I do. Do you ever think about how far you've come from just making a kink in your house to over 300 locations? So we have these meetings in our office. It's called a sweet and greet. And that's when our franchise bakery owners have gone through training and it's their last day they're gonna graduate. And so they come to our corporate office and we have lunch together. And it's so inspiring to hear the stories mm -hmm. as to why someone decided they wanted to be part of Nothing But Cakes. And it's so heartwarming. And I, I absolutely love it. It, it. It's just one of the most wonderful feelings in, in, in the world. I can't describe it. I mean, not only being an entrepreneur and being you know in charge of my journey and my destiny, but to be able to see others um, be able to have that opportunity as well. It's the it, ultimate. I, it's, yeah, it warms my heart. You're an inspiration. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so we know that Nothing Bunt Cakes is always all about gift giving. Well, Scorpion and Get to Work is also all about gift giving. This is true. So we have created for you specifically a one of a kind oh scorpion <laughs> pin with nothing bunt cake colors. I love it. As a thank you for being on the show. Oh, thank you so, so much. Thank you for I sharing your that. story. And it's perfect. And we have another big surprise for you. Your son, Sean, told us that you're very into golf. And the weather yes. here in Las Vegas is too nice to not go and enjoy it. So guess what? We're heading out right now. Okay, I'm game. All right. Time for a second surprise. Here we are. Wow, this is amazing. I don't know if you guys knew, but this is my very favorite place to go in Las Vegas. We're that good. We do research Clearly. on everybody, just That's so you awesome. know. That's Sean gave us a little bit. Oh, okay, now I get it. Okay, but still, this is amazing. I'm very excited to be here. So we're gonna start down here. We're just gonna go ahead and get okay. loosened up a little bit. So grab a driver, Okay. crush it as far as you possibly can today. I'll do my best. All right, you're up. Yeah! Great swing. Nice. Nice yeah. whack. Yeah, great swing. It went so far, I lost it. <laughs> Get it, Bone! Woo! Woo! On the tee, Michael Bone Sour. So Dina's been to Top Golf Las Vegas a couple times. She's even been in a suite. So how do you top that? This is fantastic. Yeah. Jill and Bone rented the chairman's suite. Have you oh, ever been up awesome. here? No, I've awesome. never been here. Awesome, it's yeah. Beautiful. This is yeah. the best suite that Top Golf Las Vegas has to offer. You're spoiling me. 
We're oh, trying. Yes. Of course, we deserve it. <laughs> so we were talking earlier that Nothing Bunt Cakes currently has over 300 plus locations. Okay. So we thought it'd be fun for the three of us to play a little game together. Okay. We're each going to get nine shots. Mm -hmm. You want to try to get as close to the flag as humanly possible to get more points. And we're going to try to have a combined score of over 300 points. Okay. So you have the honors. You are I the first the person up. Great. Oh, that's a hole in one. Woo! Wow. Oh, that that's looks great. great. That's another hole in one. That could bounce back to blue. Not near anything. <laughs> Well, I thought this was going to be easy, and I have one more shot. We have 20 more points to go. This is where it really matters. Dina made it look easy. Dina did make it look way I too easy. I told you this was my favorite place in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. good. That I looks like good. It. I that like it. Good. I like it. Hold on one. Hold on one. We beat the 300, we got 316 points. Good work. That was excellent team effort. Woo! <laughs> Jill and I had the best time working with Sean and Jessica. We learned so much about your brand. We had the best time ever. That's Thank you. That's awesome. That's fantastic. And I think it was our pleasure. Oh, we loved it. it was so much We fun. really loved having you guys. And for what you've done in the business world and to inspire everybody, we feel like you won the masters, basically. Oh. <laughs> so we have something for you. Our last gift. We got you a oh, green jacket. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just like the Masters. The Masters that's get to work. Fabulous. And look at this little logo oh that we threw on here for gosh, you. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Right? Yay. Oh, you like Thank it. you so much. Yes, so, present, present. <laughs> yes. I had no idea that I was going to actually be receiving a green jacket, so I felt like I was a Masters celebrity. And it looks great on you. Oh, oh I love it. I love it. Thank you, guys. I uh, love it. Well, let's go show it off. Oh. Let's you, go to the you, after party, you. right? That's right. <laughs> thank Time you. to go celebrate. Right. Let's go let's celebrate. Go. To Augusta. Yeah. If you enjoyed this episode of Get to Work, don't forget to like and subscribe. 